You're watching the Nindy Report for February 2018. Hey, what's up everyone? My name's Casey Gibson. You are here watching the Nindy Report and I am so happy you are with me today to talk about some great Nindies that came out for the month of February here in the year 2018. Another great month filled with games. I know it might be a little hard to be thinking about Nindies with that crazy direct that just happened showing off all these crazy games. You know, Splatoon, the Octo expansion, Sushi Strikers looks really great. I'm excited about that game. Of course, the big surprise, the big reveal, Smash coming this year. But that's why we're here to tell you about the great games over there on the eShop. Once again, we have a nice spread for you, especially if you like genre bending, or maybe I should say genre molding games that take sort of two different types of genres, mash them up into one to give you a really fun and unique experience. There will be plenty of that in store for us today as we get into our nindies, and I think without further ado, we should just get right on into it. To kick us off, we're going to take a look at an RPG that might have flown underneath your radar. Joe Dever's Lone Wolf is a rare treat, providing an interesting story with engaging battle mechanics. Based on his game books of the 80s and 90s, Lone Wolf is a four-act story of the final member of Kai as he investigates the frontier village of Rockstar. The cool thing about Lone Wolf is that the gameplay is split into two distinct sections. The first is how the story is told which is by reading a book that's displayed on screen. As you learn of current events, decisions will be presented that will determine your path. Where things really pick up, however, is in the second phase. As hordes of enemies have invaded the kingdom, it's your responsibility to rid them of the land. Using a mixture of melee and ranged weapons, in combination with Kai powers and a magical sword, you'll battle the evil hordes on your way to storming the fortress of Vitag. With an incredible art design, and battles that provide just the right amount of challenge, Lone Wolf proves to be a great RPG. Next up we have Fia, the latest title from Zoink Games. Although you might not know it from first glance, fans of Zoink's previous work like Stick It to the Man or Zombie Vikings will instantly realize the difference in art style in Fia. Now sporting a beautiful and magical atmosphere in this unique take on an open world 3D platformer. To put it simply, Fia is all about communication. The titular creature is a fox-like animal that can interact with other creatures among the various areas, with an emphasis on learning the different languages of each species. Once Fia has learned their language, a new environmental feature is unlocked to reach different areas to both further the story and add more complexity to the gorgeous level design. To reiterate, one of Fia's best strengths is in the art direction and aesthetic and there are some truly epic and memorable scenes throughout the give or take seven hour journey. The music and audio design are just as integral to the game as the visuals. Every animal voice and sound effect interweave together to form a sort of synergy to engross the player into the world's atmosphere. Though the game has an emphasis on communication, there's a surprising little amount of text throughout the adventure, so relying on exploration and discovery is key to succeeding. But if you are in the mood for an ambient, peaceful, and elegant experience, Fia is definitely one that you will not want to miss out on. Lastly, we take a look at Aegis Defenders. Another genre-melding game, but this time we see an action puzzle platformer mixed with a tower defense game? Yeah, it seems like a bit of a strange mashup, but it works really well. Each stage sees the two different phases, the first relying on platforming and puzzle solving with some enemies scattered about, and the latter kicking into a tower defense mode where setting up traps and turrets is the name of the game. Aegis Defenders tends to be a bit easy early on, but slowly ramps up its difficulty, especially towards the second half of the game. While the platforming phases aren't as noticeably slow, the earlier parts of tower defense can drag a bit. But as you progress, being quick on your toes is important as the game gradually increases the difficulty, forcing you to be more strategic with combining abilities to survive each stage. Utilizing upgrades for your weapons and your character are both vital to your success, but also a lot of fun. What might arguably be the most appealing part of Aegis Defenders, however, is the ability to play co-op throughout. 
Many puzzles rely on switching between characters, which is easy enough to do while playing solo, but all the more fun while having another player taking control. The game also has a wonderfully dynamic split of the screen, making it even more enjoyable to play co-op. Whether you'll be playing solo or with a friend, Aegis Defenders is certainly a game that you'll find a lot of fun within. Alrighty, that's going to do it for us this month. Three really great and unique games to check out over on the eShop. Once again, as always, there are many, many more games coming out. Almost, it feels like on a daily basis, but on a weekly basis, we're getting flooded with games. So it's definitely worthwhile to check the eShop and see if there's anything that's catching your eye. But I want to thank each and every one of you for stopping by, checking out the video. Please like, subscribe, all that jazz. You guys know the deal by now. You can keep it here or locked on Nintendo World Report TV. You can jump over to NintendoWorldReport.com for the written word on Nindies and just about anything Nintendo related you could ever imagine. And until next time, J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets. I mean, keep playing those Nindies.